So, Coach, you look at the stats tonight, you won by 10 points. You'd obviously like it to be a little more in control. But in terms of what you came away with, you forced a lot of turnovers. That's going to be huge, I think, for this defense during the season. How pleased were you with the defensive effort and with the pressure that you intended to apply to CBU? Well, we did intend to apply pressure. We, we wanted to do it with a little bit more discipline and better rotations. Um, I thought early in the game we didn't quite close up our traps. Our rotations weren't right. But I, but I can't fault their effort. Um, it's just a matter of fact of we've got to have more reps. I mean, we just have to have more reps to get everybody in the right spot. And I think part of that is um, seven or eight new players, and I think part of it is our communication on the court. So we just need more reps. I have no issues with our effort. Um, would have liked to have seen a little bit better box out. I thought we gave up a lot of offensive rebounds in the second half. But, you know, this is a team that um, we've got, you can tell we have some athleticism. We have some length. But we've got to make sure we use it to our advantage. There were some times that um, we got a little undisciplined, particularly in the second half. We were trying to get into a half-court um, defense and just get a little bit more solid and, and not be so helter-skelter, um, which is great in a trap, not so great once you get to half-court. So we need we need a lot more reps. Um, we missed a lot of shots uh, early about uh, parts of the game. I thought we did a nice job of sharing the ball. Other times I thought we were looking too hard for our own shot. And uh, but that's why we practice. We go back tomorrow and go to work at it. Jazz Herndon, as you mentioned, one of the Helter Skelter players this evening. She was flying up and down the floor in a lot of fast breaks, and she also played some pretty tenacious defense. How pleased are you with her to start the season this way in an effort like that to lead the team in scoring? I, I was pleased. Um, you know, that's one thing that we rely on her is to get in the open court and really put a lot of pressure on the defense. I think she pretty finished pretty well tonight, five and nine. Um, and then also, I thought um, Taylor Williams on on their team, who I, I just have to say I've been a fan of her since she played it at White Station High School. Thought she did a really nice job of controlling their offense. And I just told our players that when you got a player that's direct with traffic like that, you've got to get up there and make them worry about them instead of what their team's doing. And so I thought we did a little bit better job of that as, as the game went on. In terms of newcomers, Dulce Fonca, Mangiata tonight almost got into double figures and points and, and got there with rebounds. How pleased were you with her effort on the glass, even though the offensive efficiency may not have been there? Yeah, she um, she still got to find her way to the block a little bit better. She's 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 trying to find her way out a little bit more instead of really establishing establishing her position on the block. I, we want her to have that versatility, but I wanted to start on the block and then and then find her way out. Um, I thought at times she was really the only one going to the boards. It, you know, it's amazing when you have a player that rebounds like that. Sometimes other players kind of stand and watch, and we kind of stood and watched a little bit, but. You know, we expect her to be a, um, you know, we expect her to be a double double player for us. So, um, but but obviously three of thirteen, she got to finish better. You got all eleven players to score tonight. Anything else beyond that balance that you want to take ahead to the opener against Alford State? Um, a little bit more discipline um, on on offense. Uh, we, this this coach and this program, uh, coaching this team was brand new, so we had no idea what they were going to do. Um, we were where she was before she played all, all man. So we were more prep for man than we were zone tonight. I'm okay with that. Um, we, we don't need our zone offense to be perfect yet. Uh, we got a little bit more time on that. That always normally goes in, in late. So we need, we need some more reps on how to find the holes in that, how to finish our transition, and then flow into our zone offense, which we didn't do very, didn't do very well this evening. But, um, you know, we got six more days now um, until we play our coach day. And I want to play a lot of players. I'm glad we played a lot of players tonight. It, it, it may have kept us a little bit more unorganized than I would have liked. But I think everybody on this team has earned a chance to play. And uh, I want to give them that opportunity. You know, as we go over time, that, that might shrink from 11 to 10 to 9 to, to 8. But, but right now, every single player on our team has proven that they have that they deserve a chance so we're going to give them that chance coach thanks for the time and congrats on a successful exhibition thanks tyler that's head coach melissa mcfarren after a 71 61 victory over cbu